Hi there, DW Berman here with another video for just learning graphics and stuff. This week I'm going to be talking about the Adobe Character Animator preview that came with Adobe Creative Cloud 2015. If you don't know what the Character Animator preview is, this is it. You're looking at it. It's it's a pretty, if I click on set rest pose, now you can see the dots. You can see it's actually tracking my face and my head movements and my mouth. You can see the mouth animating all by itself. Now, a way this works is uh, certain mouth shapes, like O, which doesn't seem to work on this character, but like the surprise look, like what? There we go. And the smile. Uh, they translate um, based on the camera, based on the visual, whereas all the other different mouth shapes are based on the audio track, which is interesting because it's kind of an automated lip sync. And let's say we don't want to actually animate our character here. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of limited. There are some interesting things you can do by having a little keyboard switches to China swap to different layers and things. But let's open this up so that it can be used in other applications and other workflows. So let's just focus on one of the, the more tedious aspects of animation I'm, I'm figuring is going to be the lip sync. Um, Obviously, an automated system is not going to be as good as actually going in by hand and setting uh, the shapes and animating it. Um, and also, this system is only swapping different shape uh, colors so, or different shapes. It's not blending between shapes, so this is more like a stop frame animation thing where they're swapping out the, the mouth uh, at geometry or, or even picture instead of actually, you know, changing the shape of it so uh, all that to say here's one of the, the the stock characters you can get to the stock character by just going to new and uh, actually if we go to welcome we can click on new puppet in photoshop and that's what opens up so i'm going to click on it and right click reveal in explorer and double click on it and uh, here's what it actually is it's just a photoshop document with strategically named um layers and uh, these little ones here with the um, indication that there's a path on it these are actually uh, little dots that are let's go down to our, our pen tool it's arrow tool there we go you can see we actually have a little x there that's basically the end point or the start point for a a path and those are are done to uh basically fix the feet in point in place there and this is the rotation the origin point the pivot point for the the head we're going to ignore all of that stuff because we just want the mouth so let's uh, turn off all the layers except for the mouth turn off all of the layers except for the mouth so then we just have the mouth and you're going to want to actually take the time to make your own mouth shapes or find them elsewhere online and copy and paste them in I'm just going to scale this up. So I'm going to start scaling, hold down shift, and then hold down alt. So there we go. There's our mouth shape. Hit enter. Um, there are multiple shapes in here. There are 13 different layers in here for the different uh, shapes. There's neutral, smile, surprise, A, ah, D, E, F, K, L, M. And if I, you know, click on them, you can see, okay, there's that. There's M, and there's the... Uh, the uh and the o and then there's the th sound okay so uh those are all the different shapes and uh, that that's going to be kind of important but uh we'll do that and i'm also going to crop this image down so and then i'll save it but uh, i'm not actually going to do that because i already have it saved because i've done this a couple of times and realized that i was recording off the wrong mic that was the last big one there were some other issues anyway so here we have uh our my mouth iso thing this is what i just showed you from but only from a previous take so let's uh make a new scene or let's just drag this into the scene so now we have two puppets in there and uh, one is uh just the mouth it's the mouth all by itself so let's get rid of this other puppet now if you wanted to you have to have the puppet selected in order for it to be, to behave um, if you want this to to just record, uh, 
you can do that here. Say, hey, I am a recording. This is so cool. I am a mouth with no face. Something like that. So uh, you'll see that it actually puts an audio track in, and when you play it back, hey, I am a recording. This is so cool. I am a mouth with no face. Something like that. So it's, you know, not going to, like, again, not going to replace hand-done animation, but Hey, for background characters, or if you're just on a tight budget or something, hey, that, that could be cool, really cool. Or you just want to have some fun. So, that's all well and good. Uh, but what if you have pre-recorded audio or, you know, actors sent something to you? Well, you can import audio clips, so just, you know, Command-I or Control-I to bring an audio clip in. And then, then just drag that down into the timeline. And you notice that the length of the timeline is the same length of the audio that was not automatic. One thing we may have to change is uh, the, the options, the settings for the scene. So if I click on this, there we have scene one. You'll notice my frame rate is at 30 frames per second. By default, that it comes in at 12 frames per second, which is great for animation and animating, but uh, for uh, it, it can miss some nuances when you're actually giving it dialogue. So I upped it to 30. Uh, the duration is what I set here. It displays in frame numbers, but the duration is listed in seconds. Hopefully they'll make that workflow a little nicer. Uh, in our case, I don't really want it to be 1920 by 1080. I'll just do 800 by 600. And that takes care of the scene settings. Now in the, uh, the puppet settings, if I click down here, I get different properties over here I can adjust. So let's uh, turn that down. I need to move it to the left a little bit. So I'm going to take the position and move it to the left. And why not? I'll move it down a little bit so it's more in the center. Okay, so that's it. Um, all I have to do is select the mouse, the, the mouth ISO. I drag, already dragged my audio clip down into it. So now I'm going to go to Object, Compute, Lip Sync from Scene Audio. Now again, this does not take into account the, the, the smile uh, look or the the uh, the surprised look. So, if you want to, I believe you can turn off the microphone using this little widget up here, and then that won't uh, record record over the audio. So you could actually just do record the the video track. And you, if you were doing the whole character, you could do the head movement and stuff. But in this case, we're just dealing with a mouth, and I'm going to ignore the smile altogether. So now with our audio analyzed, let's hit play. Captain's Log, Stardate, 5-5-25-25. All right, so then I can uh, export that, file, export, scene. <clears throat> and I'll just do this, mouth, three test. And it's probably not the third test, it's probably beyond that. So now it's exporting the frames. And it's also saving a, an XML file that uh, After Effects can use. So let's go over to After Effects. As soon as this is done, and it's done, pops it up. So those are all our frames. It's our frame sequence. So I'm going to highlight that and copy it. Right click, copy, paste. Now let's import. Nope, I want to go to Scripts, New Comp. From character animator recording. I'll just paste this up here. You could paste it in the bottom. Now I just select the first frame and hit OK, and you'll notice that it actually grabbed the audio track as well. So now when I hit play, you should. Captain's log, start date 5 5 25 25. It's a good day to be alive. Repairs are nearing completion after our encounter with the Kardashian cruiser. Here we have a frame sequence of a mouth. And since it's just a frame sequence in an audio clip, we don't need After Effects. I mean, we can use it in After Effects, but we can also use it in other things. Uh, so let's, uh, let me bring up Lightwave 3D. And Lightwave 3D. And let's uh, give us a sphere. Okay, surface editor, sphere, let's add an image map, which is that thing we just did, mouth test three, 
OK, and we're going to hit automatic sizing. And I may need to move it down. So let's move this to where it's actually. Oh, also need to set the image type to sequence. Almost forgot that. Making sure that the 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 frames per second matches. That's important. So uh, let's turn our view to textured. There's our mouth. Uh, I also want to turn smoothing on. Okay, so that's pretty much centered up. So now let's uh, add our audio in. Don't have to, but uh, it does kind of help us see that it's actually working. So mouth to test. It's the same as mouth three test. So whatever. Captain's log start eight five. Let me increase this. Captain's log start date five five twenty five twenty five. It's a good so day we to go. be we alive. Texture Repairs are nearing completion after our encounter with the Kardashian cruiser. The audio track. I still feel a little bad about the way things ended. That did not take very long to do. So now that the, the workflow is set up, we can just, you know, just save with different images. But maps we survived the encounter with our honor intact. And there that's all that matters to me. That's pretty much I am it for this part of the demo. I have another part coming up where we actually show how to use, uh, how to, uh, yeah how to drive morphs in Lightwave so we can actually have geometry swap out instead of just the texture. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you like this video, like the video and on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you can see new things uh, when they come out. Uh, also, I have some uh, longer length tutorials for sale at uh, liberty3d.com. If you go to Citizens DW Berman, Dana's videos, you can see my videos there, but there are a whole bunch of other videos by other artists on the site for sale and uh, they are some really good uh, talented people doing really good uh, tutorials on Lightwave, Modo, and uh, ZBrush are the main ones. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, we hope that you have a great day.